Hello people and welcome to Attila Total War. Oh my god, it has been ages like um like not ages for you guys but ages for um you know for me to sort out this um problem. Basically Steam wouldn't let me um boot Attila up, so I spent the whole day trying to figure out the problem. I still don't know what the problem is, um, but basically I just had to basically uninstall Steam and reinstall Steam again. It's really annoying, um, but yeah, I'm back, I'm here, I'm ready to play some Attila. Um, so, oh, we've still got a fleet going. Why have we got a fleet going? This is not ne necessary. This is really not necessary. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, no. No, no, I'm already freaking up. Right now, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, and so they're not actually, it's not actually a fleet. Okay, it's an army. I was almost going to ex um, disband the army then, that that would have been bad. Um, so let me um, uh, recap the situation so far. Um, basically, we had our first victory. And I'm not talking about an automated victory, I'm talking about a proper victory. And it was sweet. It was amazingly sweet. Um, and, you know, now we're going to expand on our success. And hope that um, we can drive these Roman invaders back and claim France or F Frankie, um, Francia um, for ourselves. Um, so, yeah, I, as you can tell, I'm very excitable at the moment. Um, so, like, my next like couple of moves are going to be. Um, basically knock them out of this like region and also knock them out of oh I think that region's already been ta um oh it, it was demolished okay well if that's Ready the case we take the settlement for the tribe ready for battle Uh, why can't we do that? Because uh, we don't have enough finger magic eggs. Okay. Okay, how many do we actually have? So, we don't have enough of those things. Well, that's fine. Honestly. I'm a bit concerned about the, um, the, the the Saxon army over here. They could actually um, uh, end up becoming an issue. So I'm going to deal with them relatively quickly. And um, yeah, so um, I'm going to do my um, fabled. Um, th let's check the... Um, the financial sort of situation of each um, city here and province um, because at the moment we can't actually do much apart from we can convert this lovely little settlement So we need to convert it rather than... Holy crap. Um, what did I just do? What did I just do? Oh shit! I think I um, I think I took that down. It's not something I was hoping to do. 
God damn it. We need more food, really. What does that enable us at the moment? We've already got a farm. Well, because it's not uh, available to our faction at the moment, I'm actually going to come back. I'll come back because um, I'm going to take ages deciding what I'm going to do. And I promised you that um, I wouldn't do this, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. Um, basically, uh, yeah, I just... Um, I just really had a look at what I could and could not do in their respective settlements. Um, and uh, I couldn't really do a lot. In fact, um, I will go back there in a minute and adjust the taxes. But I won't make you sit and watch that too much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to basically um, see what I can get from... Greetings! Speak plainly and without idle purpose, and all will be well. From Britannia. Sure thrust strikes home, after all. So I'm going to ask for a non-aggression pact, and that's pretty low. Why is that pretty low? Why do not they? Why don't they like us? Oh, why don't they like us? Okay, so that's a no-go. Um, if I talk to the Romans, I'm only going Greetings in the name of the Emperor, and so forth. Now, what do you want? Okay, no, they're not going to accept it. Okay, so I'm going to abandon that idea. Greetings. Now speak plainly, for we are an honest folk and value honest in others. Okay, so they won't accept that anyway. God damn it. Um, okay, so I'm going to come off the screen. Because it is a pain in the behind. And I'm literally going to adjust some taxes uh, in recently conquered lands. Um, I'm basically going to re-establish tax taxes here. And the way you do that, I believe... Okay, so that's the one that we've just um, taken over. I'm talking about this one. I want to re-enact taxes. Why won't you let me re-enact taxes? Ah! Game. Game, show me what I'm doing wrong. Is it? No, it's not that. I am such a noob at this. You could probably tell. Garrison details. Gather information. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Good 
Because if you remember in the last episode, I actually exempted um, this particular settlement here f uh, f from taxes. And I now don't want to do that. I now want to really reassert. Um, taxes on these people. Okay, I will get there. I will get there. <laughs> okay. Um, again, I'm going to find out and, uh, and come back to you guys uh, or maybe you can tell me actually uh, and and um, in the comics uh, in the in the comics in the comment section uh, because I cannot re rem remember for the life of me how you can reassert taxes and um, and and or get rid of certain things Okay, because they're quite peed off, but I need the money, so to speak. <laughs> um, so, yeah, while we're there, actually, we can... Um, we can sort of see... Okay. I'm not going to mess around too much with that because it's going to take t far too long. And the reason why the the thing is so so high, um I'm going to bring this back. Is because essentially what happened was uh I'll be back in a minute, guys. I'm back. Ooh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, family stuff. Um, so yeah, I I've just um applied some perks to my army here. Um, what was it? Um, wooden and uh, woodens of the tribe. Yeah, can't read today. I'm sorry. And, um, also, I'm thinking about decimating. Because, uh, because, well, we need the discipline. But at the same time, they did pretty well for us. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Just yet. Um, and I can't afford to lose 10% of my forces. But. Right. So. Let's move forward with this, shall we? That's quite useful. And 
that's also quite useful. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've done all my upgrading and all that good stuff. I'm probably going to face a rebellion at this point. What is that fleet doing nearby my <coughs> shores? That's quite uh, off-putting, to say the least. Sorry if you can hear my mic, by the way. Um, I'm, I'm just adjusting it. So again, there's famine. Why is there famine? So, Interesting. We need to, uh, to feed our people, obviously. And yeah, I, I know what I've just done. That is completely intentional. Um, because I just want to see what's what over in this general direction. In fact, Let them cower in the I'm going to tell them to attack that area over there. Thankfully, we've got a uh, big, big, um, treasury, otherwise uh, we would have been uh, in trouble right about now. And of course, the Saxons are going to England, just like in real life. And what are the Nords doing? on my land slightly concerned again <laughs> got to say <laughs> so how did oh did i read that right Thing, I think. I think we can do this. Okay, guys. So we're gonna get to see a 
Uh, another battle here. It's not going to be a pretty one. But let's fight it. I'll be back in one minute. Okay, so I'm back. And uh, as you can see, I've already grouped my army. And, and done all that good stuff. The wonders of editing. I know. Uh, the only thing I need to do is um, appropriately um, adjust my men in such a way that uh, I think is going to best benefit us in the long term. So I believe we need to group the cav um, uh, on the right maybe uh, my tactical nows is on show once again is that the right we'll find out no it's the left I don't even know my right from left lovely Salian Lancers Snowball And I'm not necessarily going to go come out and uh, we'll kill them all. and attack them straight away. I am literally going to sit and wait for a little bit. So again, I might have to edit this lovely bit out till we get to the nitty gritty, of course. Okay, so let's see how that's going to pan out for us. Probably not very well. Spearmen. So as I said, I'm going to let them come out in o in the open field and attack me directly because I am nowhere going. I am no way am I going to uh, to come out to them. But I think they've got the ge same idea generally. So, we might have to break the stalemate. Because I am acutely aware of these towers. And as you well know, they are powerful. Really powerful. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to break the cell, mate. Follow me. I didn't actually mean to do that. But just in just just in like real life, I am actually going to let this play out because um, you you know, you know you can't always tell your men to do exactly what you want. So 
that's why I'm doing this. Um, and as you can see, Really? Okay. Move it! Cut him down! Main thrust will be, uh, that's fine. Because as we know, horses and spears do not go together very well. break once one breaks no That's a bit crazy. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle! Okay, so I need to be telling my cav to quickly ride up and deal with this. Oh, shit. Mark! The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing! Leave the earth with that blood! And that was my fault. Completely my fault. Oh, 
Oh my god. That might actually work in our favour because I've forced them into a battle neck once again. Uh, but we'll see. Breaking up. That's fine. I just want to deal with the spearmen. That's that's the um, main issue. Enemy have rallied their units. Running, stand and fight, damn you. Gotcha. That's worked really in our favour, I've got to say.
Sorry guys, I'm just um, I'm just seeing uh, the action essentially, and uh, where we're um, we're going to uh, where we're going to the battle is turning in our favour. Deploy our troops. Uh, or redeploy sort of thing. Um, but yeah, again, I'm I'm gonna try and uh, keep most of the battle um, in in the video in the video in the video um, because I think a second a second um, victory is pretty good for us right now. And I also believe, um, you know, you guys want to see it, um, basically. And um, they will bleed for the enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. Again, I apologize. I apologize for the lack of speaking. Um. Finally. The tower has fallen. Good news. A glorious victory will soon be yours. Thank you. I didn't think it was that bad, personally myself. The battle duration was 16 minutes. Okay, so they... So they had lost pretty much every one of theirs, about half the cost. Um, Again, I'm going to occupy. For the tribe! And you're going to be thinking, but there's going to be so many rebellions. Um, yes, and no. I'm hoping that 
if there is a rebellion, then I can pretty much sort it out um, straight away. Um, and again, I apologise for the lack of commentary during the video, uh, during the uh, battle as a whole. Uh, I just felt like, um, you know, I was concentrating on whether I should uh, um, withdraw and redeploy, but in the end it just turned out to be, you know, a straight rush, um, which, you know, is a good or maybe bad thing. I think in this case it was a good thing uh, because you know <coughs> the enemy is uh, I don't really want uh, um, to um, to give uh, too much of a chance to the Romans because I know that their units can be pretty powerful um, in this game and they really are um, so powerful. Uh, um, but we're on our way. We're on our way to curate, creating an empire here. So um, until next time, I've been Strategical Gamer, and uh, if you've liked this video, please um, and you're new, uh, that's the most important thing. If you're new, please uh, subscribe, and uh, you know I will be, you know, most grateful. And uh, again, you know. To those people that have been watching this series from the very beginning, and to anyone who uh, has uh, has just come and uh, you know had a look at this video on the off chance, uh, please comment and let me know what I can do better. And um, yeah, until next time, I have been Strategic Gamer. Bye bye for now.